Hello, everyone. Happy International Corn Day. I am John Payne, coming to you from the Hedgepoint Ag Desk in Chicago, and I appreciate you joining me as always. We're going to talk about the world's, maybe the world's most important cash crop today, as we have seen it boom over the last 50 years as corn has turned from just a feed, a livestock and human consumption feed, into more industrial type uses as well as energy. So those are the things that have really changed over the last 15 to 20 years in corn. Uh, we've seen acreage increase both in the United States uh, by about 20, 25 percent uh, over the last 20 years. And in Brazil, we've seen it increase close to 300 to 400 percent over the last 20 years with the invention of safrina corn. That would be the biggest change you have to be aware of. When the CBOT or the Chicago Board of Trade started trading corn 100 years ago, it was really only focused on the, de the developing uh, corn con contracts around Chicago, which is where most of the corn was grown. That has now changed due to technology and the ability for you to grow corn in a little more of, a, of, a, of an arid climate. We've seen Brazil, Europe, uh, South Africa, and China develop corn markets of their own. So now outside of Chicago, we have a corn contract that trades in Brazil. We have a corn contract that trades in Argentina. We have a corn contract that trades in China. And we have a corn contract that trades in Europe. We're trying to develop some Black Sea markets as well, but with the recent war in in uh, in the Ukraine, we've seen that ha kind of take a step back. Thankfully, we have markets like Brazil that have come around to develop more acreage year over year to really replace what is being lost in in Argentina. I'm sorry, in uh, in Ukraine. So if you're an end user of corn, you should be thanking your lucky stars that Brazil has developed the product they have. Brazil is going to grow almost 20% more corn year over year this year than they did last year. Yet they're going to see stocks go down because of the loss of crop in, in Ukraine. So that is a problem as we move forward here. How are we going to replace the number three or number four largest producer in the world when you can't really find any area of land elsewhere? And that answer is Brazil. So looking forward as far as corn goes, the biggest change I expect is you're going to start to see contracts pop up from Brazil and pop up from places in the developed world because those are the folks where the development of use is going on and they're growing more. So they're no longer reliant just on the United States to export. We're going to rely on Brazil to export. And a lot of the, the folks in the United States are going to use corn domestically to feed livestock, to use in ethanol, to use for all sorts of different types of industrial products. So as we move forward, that'll be the biggest change, not just how much gets exported, but where it's exported from. All right. So I appreciate you joining me as always today. Thank you for uh, patronizing Hedgepoint. If you have any questions, give us a shout here at the Ag Desk in Chicago or at our main office in Brazil. Look forward to meeting you. Happy Corn Day.